It's Dave Johar once again for Punch Out Boxing. Please be joined by Derby's very own World Championship coach, Clifton Mitchell. How are you? World Championship coach. Do you hear that? World Championship coach. Do you hear that? I love that. I love it. No, yeah, well, to be fair as well, well done. That was an amazing performance, Sandy Ryan. Um, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the result was amazing. I don't think the performance was. There's a difference. I mean, she did what she needed to, needed to do, but she also, for me, she didn't box the best, but she got the job done. I mean, look, Derby's first ever world champion. Forget about female or male. Exactly. First exactly. world champion. I couldn't do it, but good thing about it, I trained somebody to do it, so I'm happy with that. I'll take second best. I mean, look, people don't often realise as well, you were there when, um, you know, Tyson Fury Beat. took, exactly, Vladimir Klitschko. So you've been around championship boxing yeah, for around, ages. I've been around Nazim when he won, won, them, won them all. Been all around the world with Naz. Been all around the world. I've been, obviously, I was there when Klitschko lost to Tyson and I'd... I wrapped Tyson's hands for that fight. Like I said to you, but no disrespect to Tyson and all them accolades, I really tell you that this meant more to me because I've grown this girl from the age of 13 right the way up to this. So I've, well, I've watched the journey. So it's a lot more emotional, a lot more satisfying, is the word. When can you, is it going to be yourself or is it going to be Sandy that's going to be knocking on Eddie's door saying Pride Park? Or is it... Well, if you've seen the interview I did last time, I, I did try and uh, get it out of him. But like I said, he wanted a, a real toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. And that was just for his TV rights, not really for what I wanted to do. But all in all, I think we've got, I think we've got McCaskill next. So, um, what's her name? Jessica or Jennifer? I call her Jennifer. And Mick Bumoff. That's his other name, isn't it? Ramoff, sorry. Ramoff. Yeah. How do you, mate? <laughs> so, so... Um, yeah, I'd love to bring it to Derby. Love, love to bring it to Derby. I've, never, I've not been able to box on that pitch, but if I can get a fighter that I've trained to do that, I'll have that as a close second. Well, put it this way, living vicariously through your fighters, why not? Yeah. You know, why not at the end of the day? You know, you, you, you've been there for such a long time, a pivotal part of Derby's boxing community, Derby's community, you know, with, with people like Asgatay, yourself, Damon, Damon Haig back in the day as well. We're talking uh, Scott Haywood, like all these people from Derby. Yeah, you got, Why not? You've, you're talking. Listen, you're talking Kurt Gibbons. You're talking um, Dennis Berry. He's the first kid that won a title. He was a WBF international, and he won the title. And um, that's my first champion. And like I said to him, I rang him. I said, "You, were, but do you know what? All in Mouse all, Bomber Seed. <laughs> um, now, all in all, I must, I must give Brendan Ingle pay him homage because I've learned a lot from this man. I've took it and made it my own and done it my way. So I can honestly say that I was, I'm the first trainer or first fighter that's come out of the Ingle camp to actually train a kid from start to finish and turn him into world title. Brendan's in the, the other one that's done it as well. So I'm happy with that. It's a fantastic result. I mean, Sandy's clearly in Portugal at the moment, chilling out. She's back. she's back now. No, she's back. Yeah, she's back. So you're saying it's going to be McCaskill. Are you going to be? Are you guys seeking that fight straight away, or is it going to be easing into something? Or no, straight away. I think that's that was a really, I think the thing that was one of the deals that you know she wins that she boxes there. So we could have all the marbles very very soon. All the marbles, all the belts, all the belts, all the belts. All the belts. All the belts. Yeah, and um, we'll do a job on her, million percent, absolute job on her. And what about this, um, I suppose, that the fight with Chantel Cameron? I think that, that's been a bit of Twitter back and forth between Sandy and Chantel, hasn't it? I mean, yeah, is yeah. it a case of waiting now and seeing what happens with... Um... I will tell you this, yeah. Chantel Cameron's a very, very, very good fighter. I will always, you know me, I'm a wind-up merchant, so I will do anything just to get under their skin. I'll do anything. I'll tell you on the camera. I'll tell you I will do anything or say anything that really will piss you off, to be fair. Don't even start. Uh, so, so um, I will say things, do things, and whatever I want to do, I will say and do, because I don't really give a fuck, to be fair. <laughs> Basically, I don't care. If I get fined, I get fined. Not that I can afford it, but I'll tell everybody I don't give a shit, but after I'm thinking, At least shit. Honest, though. Yeah, be yeah, honest. 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 honest, honest is the. Yeah, I'll just say what's on my mind. I'm not telling you no lines. I mean, one interview I did with you um, a few years ago, actually, and it resonates, this does, because it was when John Ryder and Callum Smith fought, when your words were, the judges need slapping. Yeah. After that decision, John Ryder takes on Canelo, Canelo today. Who would have thought? How do you break that fight down? I think, uh, 
I think John Ryder is going to give him a more of a problem than most people. Everybody thinks John Ryder, that Canelo is going to walk through him. I don't think so. I think he'll be late on if he stops him. Canelo doesn't really do a lot until he feels that he's, you're ready to be cooked. If he's cooking him, then he'll eat you. But don't be surprised. Nobody's going to give um, Ryder an opportunity. I think he might get stopped with cuts, though. I think he might get cut. Yeah, that's fair enough. Clifton, 100%. I am going to come down to One Nation. I haven't been ducking. I am going to come down. Ducking, isn't it? This, <laughs> no, no. Derby, never been to the gym. You want to inter interview me in Birmingham. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I will tell you this, yeah? That up the Rams tomorrow. You know what I mean? 100%. I am going to come down anyway. Okay. But thanks for your time Thank again, you. Cliff. Nice Cheers, one. man. Nice Cheers. One.